Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about me putting some low lights on my hair. I'm actually due for a root touch up and so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce some low lights that I put in actually just like two weeks ago. But every time I do low lights for the first time every year, because for whatever reason, at least once a year I throw in some low lights and then I take them all back out. So, you know, I'm just always damaging my hair. But anyway, after the first time that I put the low lights in, they really kind of fade pretty dramatically, not back to the shade of blonde that they were before, but um, still, you know, I lose a lot of that color. So I just want to kind of go in and reinforce what I did, you know, a couple weeks ago touch up my roots and um, yeah, just give myself a new look. I don't know why I do this. I seem to do this pretty much every single year, right about this time, right after the summer's over. You know, when I'm not self tanning anymore and when I don't have um, kind of a natural tan because unfortunately, even though I try to prevent a natural tan, I seem to always kind of get one. And so I don't mind the way that it looks with the really blonde hair, but once fall approaches, I stop self tanning and obviously I'm not out in the sun as often. And so I really start to get really pale and have a lot of yellow undertones and it just doesn't go well with really blonde hair. And um, I feel like it just kind of ages me too. So I really kind of like to go with some darker blondes and stuff during the fall and winter months. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I have not washed my hair in probably about two days and I didn't even really mess with it this morning because I knew I was just going to color it for you guys. Now I hope you guys can see me well because I've got this bright light behind me because these curtains are sheer and um, I'm just hoping, hoping you guys can see. I think I look pretty clear in the monitor but when the sun comes out and goes back in, I don't know, it kind of changes things. So let's give it a shot. Okay so in order to add these low lights, I'm going to use these two colors right here. They're both Revlon. I think they're like three something a piece. They might even be less. They might be two something a piece. And I've got um, dark ash blonde, and then I've got a light ash brown. And I'm pretty much just going to mix equal parts. So whenever you're just mixing one box, you know, you mix the color with the developer, and each one is two fluid ounces. So the way that I'm gonna do that, since I am mixing two box colors, is that I'm just gonna add equal parts of the darker shade and the lighter shade, and then equal parts obviously of the developer. So I think I might do three tablespoons of the darker shade color, three tablespoons of the lighter shade color, and then six tablespoons of the developer. I think the developers are both the same, but I still just use them equally, you know, from each box. So let's go ahead and let me do that. Okay, so I've mixed my color in here. So now I'm gonna split my hair up and show you how I'm gonna do this. Now I keep it really, really simple. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to look the mirrors behind the camera. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm basically gonna split it like that. And the last time, you know, I didn't take this much. I pretty much took the underneath, but I want a little bit more. See how it's already faded so much and I wanted it to be a really dark blonde. So um, I didn't have this much before. I just did this, but it's already faded quite a bit. If you can see that, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you can, because the light seems to be bright behind me. But anyway, I want a little bit more this time. Okay, so I've just split my hair, and I just went ahead and went all the way around, just like that. And um, you know, this is a little bit more than I did the first time around. The first time around, I split it a little bit lower but um, I'm really wanting to see a difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, and um, I'm just gonna basically paint all of that in, all the way down to the bottom, and I'm gonna comb it through. So, just like this. Now, I really like to concentrate right around the frame of my face at first because that seems to be the area that fades the quickest and then my white, you know, silver hair growth just starts coming through. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and touch up just my roots right here too real fast. So I'm either going to love or hate this because <laughs> it happens every time, like I'm like, oh I can't wait you know, to look different, it's gonna look so good. And then I'm like, I want it on again. I know this seems so sloppy, <laughs> but like I said, it's a lot 
um, less time consuming. So. sure that every single strand is really really saturated because I do not want it to look patchy you know okay you can see that it's the colors coming through all right so let me go ahead and do these roots looking really funky right now and then um, and then I'm gonna put a few little chunks of low lights I think you can see where they were before just right there on the sides Some of the things we do on our channels, like I've said before in another video, I think it was even my hair coloring video a long time ago, just like most of these things are done behind closed doors and we don't ever want people to see us, you know, looking like a crazy lady with our hair like this. And yet here I am doing it for the world to see. Creepy. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna basically grab a few chunks, and um, what I did is I just looked on the side, and then I did a really good, you know, just part like this, where I just made sure I made two straight lines, and then picked up, you know, what was ever in the middle, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna darken that really big chunk and then I'm going to do another one on the other side. And again, I'm just doing that with my hands. Like I said, I don't suggest that you do that. You should probably wear gloves, but <laughs> I'm just walking on the wild side over here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just take a little chunk like this and then I just do that totally one solid color. I like a chunky look, I just really do. I've always liked that look. Now, I have noticed that my hands are getting a little bit stained, and uh, that typically happens. But, you know, after a shower, maybe after two, <laughs> that, that stain comes off. You know, it's on my head too, it's on my forehead, I could see. Okay, so that's just gonna kind of blend it. I already have some dark pieces in the back, I think I might add just maybe a few little teeny weeny ones over here, just pick something up and add some to it. I'm gonna do that. And then just one on this side, I just picked one up. And I actually did have enough color. Oops, oh shoot. I don't like when that happens. So I am going to let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash and dry it. And you know, obviously, oh, it's gonna be a lot darker underneath. I've got a few chunks to kind of blend in the top at the bottom. And uh, I hope it turns out okay. Um, you know, I may end up having to add some more little dark chunks throughout, but maybe not. I just, I like the chunkiness and I like all the dimension that it adds whenever, you know, I do it kind of color blockish like this. So let's see how this turns out. <laughs> See in a little bit. Oh my gosh. My hair is so much darker than I had anticipated. And um, let me just tell you first of all that this is the next day. I ran out of time yesterday and I had to go get my kids and stuff like that um, from school. So anyway, this is the next day. So let me just show you what these low lights will look like real fast. I'm gonna have to brush them real straight so you can see. Um, there they are. Now I think I need to add maybe a few little pieces just to kind of connect everything. Like I feel like I need a piece maybe right in here to connect the top part to the bottom. So this is the new hair color. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. You know, you might just be used to seeing me as a blonde, so you might be like, oh, I hate it. But if you do, just don't say anything. Just kidding. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you just kind of appreciated my effort, then don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. 
would really appreciate it. Thank you, and you guys have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend. I don't know exactly when you're going to see this video, but um, how about just have a wonderful day? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.